Hey, how you guys doing? This is Rich from Rich to Be Live, and today I want to talk to you about Portofino Resources Inc. This is their website, portofinoresources.com. And right here, you can see that Portofino is a Vancouver based Canadian company focused on exploring and developing mineral resource projects in the Americas. It's south of Otter and Bruce Lake projects are in historic gold mining district of Red Lake, Ontario, proximal to high grade Dixie Gold project owned by Great Bear Resources Limited, which has been a huge success story. In addition, Portofino holds three other Northwestern Ontario gold projects, the Gold Creek property located immediately south of the historic Shabandanoan nickel copper mine, as well as the Sapawe West and Malema West properties located in the rapidly developing Atikogan Gold Mining Camp. The company also maintains 100% interest in the Yergo Lithium Solar property located within the world-renowned Lithium Triangle in Argentina. So this is their website, Portofino Resources, and this is them on stock twits. You could see that a good day yesterday. Price went up 10%. PFFOF in America. POR is the symbol in Canada. If we go to POR. Oh, it looks like we only got the US symbol here on stock twits. And if we go to Twitter, this is their handle on Twitter, Portofino Resources at Portofino underscore P-O-R. I am following them. As you can see, only 530 followers. So this is just an early stage story. And let's look at the price. So it was at three cents in April of last year, almost April 14th, almost to the day, made a huge run all the way up to 25 cents, which is was their high, high. Uh, let's see here. What was the date? On July 27, 2020, it hit 25 cents, came all the way down, consolidated back to around the 10 cent zone in October of 2020, stayed in that zone, in that region until January of this year, Made just recently made a move up to 23 cents February 8th and been consolidating back down, finding this floor and now starting to make a little bit of a move up here. So right now at 14 and a half cents. That is the Canadian symbol and the US symbol right now at 11 cents. Same thing, been much lower, been a little bit higher as well. Right here, you can see been as low as a penny. Would have been an amazing opportunity then. Been as high as 25 as well in America and kind of right in the middle right now, like at 11 cents. So some good upside, maybe a little bit of downside still, but some upside potential as well for Portofino Resources. Now, what makes this company so special? Let's just read their last news article, which just came out two days ago. Now, remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education, entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. Like I said, everything we talk about is for information and education purposes. Portofino Resources is a company that I think you should put on your watch list, put on your radar. Don't immediately go buy it just because we're talking about it. Watch it. Learn the patterns, learn the news, learn the cycles of the stock. And when you see that they're low, that's when you buy them. And then when you see that they're high, maybe think about taking profits or hold long if you think it goes, it goes higher long term. Let's read this news here. Portofino reports on successful geophysical survey and surface sampling at the Yergo Lithium Project, Catamarca, Argentina. So this is an asset in Argentina. You can see it is also located in Germany under the symbol POTA. Portofino is pleased to report that its 2021 geophysical survey and surface geochemical sampling program has been successfully completed at the company's Yergo Lithium Project. Located at Catamarca Province, Argentina, the geophysical survey work followed up an encouraging lithium and potassium analytical results generated by the company's initial near-surface brine sampling program conducted in 2019. The recently completed 2021 geophysical survey identified two large anomalous subbasins within the Aperijos Solar at the project which are characterized by very low recessi recessivity, 
with low to very low recessivity values interpreted as corresponding to brine bearing zones. The Western sub basin has approximately surface dimensions of 2,300 meters by 1,000 meters and a model depth of approximately 35 meters. The Eastern sub basin has an irregular surface expression measuring between 1,800 meters to 2,500 meters in length by approximately 700 meters in width and model depths of between 44 meters and 65 meters. This is figure one. The Yurgo Lithium project was, was in February. So you can see the property. Coincident with the Geophysical Survey Portofino's 2021 exploration program included additional surface and near surface brine sampling. Hand augers were utilized to open shallow holes to obtain the brine samples from surface to a maximum depth of 82 centimeters. 10 samples were collected and returned values of up to 336.97 mgs by LLI and 7,159.78 milligrams by LK table one. In addition, the ratios of mg to LI were notably low, averaging 1.51. David Tafel Portofino CEO comments, the results obtained by the 2021 geological geochemical and geophysical studies are highly favorable as they confirm the presence of lithium rich brines and the potential volume of the brines within the Yurgo lithium project. The VES geophysical survey was conducted over the entirety of the Aparajos Salar and over areas just beyond the solar boundary. VES measurements were collected at 41 stations, which were used to calculate vertical changes in recent resist, resist, resistivity in their horizontally stratified lithological units and where low 1-4 OHMS and very low 1 OHM recessivity values were interpreted as representing brine bearing strata. Data from the VES survey was compiled and plotted on three north-south and three east-west cross sections to facilitate the interpretation of the results and to evaluate the extents and continuity of the low recessivity, i.e. brine-bearing zones or sub-basins. So what are the next steps for the Yergo Lithium project? Next step for continuing exploration at the Yergo project will be to conduct an initial drill test of the Eparaz solar in order to evaluate the volume and the Li and K content of the brines and sediments within the low to very low recessivity zones identified by the VES survey. Planning and targeting with respect to a follow-up drill program at the project is well underway as the company intends to commence this work as soon as possible, potentially within the next 30 days. So these are the analysis of the samples taken during the 2021 geophysical and geochemical sampling program at the Yergo Lithium Project. So you can see the elements, lithium, potassium, magnesium, and the Mg-Li ratio. So the Yergo Lithium Project Portofino has the right to earn a 100% interest in the 2,932 hectares Yergo project, which encompasses the entire Aparaz Salar, which is located in the southern part of the world-renowned Lithium Triangle and is situated within 15 kilometers of the Neolithium Corps Advanced 3Q project. Given the proximity of the 3Q project, it is likely that the Aparaz Salar has experienced a similar geophysical history, including lithium and potassium enrichment due to their common evaporitic climate and local geology, i.e. located within the same volcanic package likely with exposure of the same potential lithium resource rocks. This potential could be absolutely enormous, guys. So who's the qualified person? The technical context of this news release has been reviewed and approved by Mr. Andrew J. Turner, who's a qualified person and defined by Nationals Instrument 43-101 Standards of Disclosure. About Portofino Resources, Portofino is a Vancouver-based Canadian company focused on exploring and developing mineral projects in the Americas. We already went through that, and you can go and find everything on their website. So this Portofino has a great asset in Argentina. Lithium carbonate prices are moving. So this is the news. 
go back to home. If you want to click to investors, click on stock info. And here's their stock info. You can see the year highs, the year lows, where they're at right now. Big volume, 2 million shares, or 2 billion shares. And this is the share structure as of March 30th, 2021. 78 million issue notes standing, not bad at all. 4 million options to 21 million warrants. So fully diluted 104 million shares issue notes standing, which I still consider anything 100 million or less a tight share structure. Anything 50 million or less is super tight. So pretty good share structure for the company. And if we go to presentations, you guys can go and find this on their website as well. You can find all their presentations right there on the website. Let's just go back to the stock again. So you can see the stock has had some moves up and down. So very volatile stock, early stage stocks are like this. That's why we always teach buy the dips, sell the rips, buy the dips, sell the rips. Pretty cool project right now in Argentina. And it's had some nice, interesting moves. So I think there's some potential here. Love to know what you guys think. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. You can see the trend is up. It's been trending up. So definitely going in the right direction. Lithium carbonate prices are moving up massively due to demand. And Tesla would need 168% of the lithium supply to make 20 million cars. Global electric vehicle market was estimated 140 billion in 2019, expected to be 700 billion by 2026. So this is a company that's trying to take advantage of that, actively drilling gold property. And we showed you guys the chart where Portofino's property is right beside They've got a few different projects we can quickly take a look at. The United States also looks to Canada for minerals. So this is the south of Otter Red, Lock, Red Lake property. You can see all the specifics on that. I'm not going to go through all of that right now. And this is the Attic Ogin, Ontario, Canadian Gold Creek property. So quite a few properties, pretty good share structure, working in very hot sector with lithium carbonate, where obviously Tesla is going to need a lot of lithium for their cars. Let me know what you guys think. This is Portofino Resources. Follow them on Twitter, Stock Twits. You can see them on Webull, and their website is portofinoresources.com. If you're not winning, you're not watching, we bring you winners. We bring them to you first. What do you guys think of Portofino Resources? P-O-R in Canada, P-O-T-A in Frankfurt, Germany, and P-F-F-O-F -F -F in America. It's your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. If you're not winning, you're not watching, we bring you winners, and we bring them to you first. Let me know what you think about Portofino Resources. Looks interesting, been a little bit lower, been a little bit higher, kind of trading in the middle, reasonably good share structure with news, could be one to watch, put on your radar, put on your watch list as your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, but I'm out, peace.